Hey, how's it going, everybody? Good morning. Good morning, beautiful people. This is Jose Trujillo. This is hammer time, baby. This is ha ha hammer time. Hammer, hammer, hammer time. Hammer, 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 hammer time. Ha, ha, hammer time. Yeah. <laughs> I hope everybody's doing great. Uh, today we, we talk about things that matter in... Uh, in our in our lives as artists right from the right from the start from the from early in the morning we got to talk about the things that are important to us as artists and really what i want to talk to you this morning is getting your mindset right um so much negativity you know if you start out your day by I don't know, listening to the news or or reading something negative or or I don't know, anything like that. It's not really conductive to to or maybe you have a negative commentary in your head, which is something often, you know, it happens to to it happens to the best of us. <laughs> it's not a it's not something that it's not something that helps. It's not something that helps. Uh, it stops you. You know, it stops in your tracks. One of the things that I I realize is keep your keep your mindset in a in a continuous positive vibe. You know, how do you do that? Well, you keep moving. It's that simple. It's that simple. You keep moving. Uh, most of us want to. I think it's a, it's, a, it's a big problem that, that occurs amongst creatives that we are creatives, but we're not really doers. We're, we're, we're much into the thinking. We don't use our hands as much as we can, as, as we should. Think about it this way. Uh, a sports, uh, I don't know, an athlete, you know, an athlete uh, will practice six, seven hours straight and this is an average probably a, a, a probably a college you know i don't know athlete six seven hours straight every day will practice have something to do with their work aside from school and whatnot like someone who's, who's supposed to be serious you know and i mean average i'm not talking about like a superstar athlete which they spent you know i don't know 12 hours, 14 hours a day practicing what they need to. Uh, anywhere from, from training their body, training their mind, uh, whatever, right? All of, all of the above. I read a book called Relentless by uh, Tim, I think it's Tim Grover. The book is called Relentless. I, I read it some months ago and I was just amazed at the work ethic of athletes. They just, they just kick ass, you know? And when I think about it, as artists, it, we have so much to work through mentally because we stop ourselves before we can move forward. We stop ourselves. And it's such a, such a drag, you know, such a drag because we have all this, uh, I don't know, maybe, you, maybe you're going through something in your life. I don't know, maybe... Maybe you're not selling your artwork. Maybe there's some something going on at home. Whatever the the, the deal may be. Maybe your your partner doesn't support you. Maybe the person you slip with doesn't doesn't like what you do, and you know doesn't care about what you're doing. You know you're going through all of these things, and and what we do is that we stop ourselves because we spend so much time here, and we don't milk the day. We don't know how to milk the day. No one taught us, you know. No one taught us how to milk a day. I call it milking a day. Uh, some wise people call it sucking the marrow out of life. Uh, other people call it cease the day. The Bible calls it be bold. Be bold and mighty forces will come to your aid. It's it's about sucking the, 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 the juice, right, out of the day. No, no one taught us how to, how to do that. Who, 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 uh, who teaches that? You know, most people are like, oh my God, get a good job, you know, get education and 
do your thing and you see anyone thriving anyone doing anything they're sucking the marrow out of life and and we can't do that for the most part because we're we're stuck here you can't suck the marrow out of anything if you're stuck here you know it, this produces only excuses that's all it does it's a, it's a it's an excuse producing machine you know it's an excuse producing machine and it's not your fault necessarily but it is your responsibility to do something about it it's not your fault because it's conditioning you know it's just conditioning we're, we're conditioned to to think that way we're conditioned to believe that we're not we're not capable we're conditioned to believe that we can only do so much we're conditioned to believe that oh if i paint then i can't exhibit and if i exhibit then i can't really paint so i'm stuck in this middle we're, we're conditioned to have considerations and this is the the sad the sad thing about life is that is that you can't live with considerations you know it, most people live with considerations we're like we're like I don't I don't want to do this because then it impedes me from doing this and then we we go ahead we go far ahead too much and uh, and then we're just kind of figure figuring you know figure figuring everything and it's it's such a stupid way of living you know it's such a stupid way of living because you, you can't figure figure your way through life it's doing doing is the let me see if i find it here uh this picasso quote that i love action is the foundational key to all success that's what picasso said action is the foundational key to all success it's action it's doing it's doing it's not thinking he didn't say creativity he didn't say think he didn't say he actually talked about about how if you truly want to be creative you need to be working he actually said that you know he said that in, in different occasions but one of the ones that we remember him by is when he said i believe in inspiration but it has to find you working you know just like God helps those who help themselves, sort of, sort of deal. Uh, when you pray, move your feet, type of thing, you know. And it's so easy to to lose track of the things that you you have to do. It's it's due to the excessive amount of preparing, getting things ready procrastinating waiting for the right moment uh, it's due to all of this exaggerations we put we place on ourselves you know I want to go exhibit my artwork but I have to put frames first and it's just all of this fucking exaggerations you know like it's almost like we, we say I want to walk over there but here let me put a couple of ball and chains on my legs and see how how it feels it's uh one of my mentors calls it breaking the back he said he said when will you break the back of your habits of not just doing things we can't just do things you know it's like oh i want to work out okay well i have to go sign up membership here and then i'm gonna have to go get some workout clothes and then i have to go this and it's it's like all of these considerations so that so that we make sure that it doesn't get accomplished it's really what it is if it's if it if it doesn't here's one of the things that i that i fight daily in my home and and because it's habits right it's against myself and say and it's also my spouse does that a lot <laughs> but it's it's things that 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 we grew up with that are difficult to 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 pull out you know it's difficult to pull out uh if we're gonna do something the whole day revolves around two fucking hours you know like if we have a we have something to do for two hours, the whole day revolves around those two hours, and it's unfair to the twenty four hours of the day. 
You know, it's extremely unfair. So how do we do this? How do we deal with this? It's difficult. It's difficult. So, so we have to we have to learn how to how to um, how to break the back of that. You know, how to how to move beyond the thinking process of getting to do something. For example, if you have an art exhibit, I promise you that you would. Most people, most artists, if they're going to have an art exhibit, they they will revolve everything, the whole fucking month around the art exhibit, like the whole 30 days, if not more. Some artists revolve a whole year around an art exhibit. And what happens with that is that, well, first, because, because we don't know what we're doing. And second, because we make events out of things. You know, we make events out of things. We're like, oh, okay, the art exhibit, yeah. And then we we make so much, such a big deal out of it. And it is a big deal, but it's not a big deal. One of the reasons why we can't move forward as artists is because, because we stop ourselves. See, if you're going to have an art exhibit, we make this such a big deal about the art exhibit... That we start thinking about, oh, and everything has to look perfect. And then the business cards. And then this. And then that. And by the time that you're spending all of this energy and all of this time on trying to get it perfect, you could have, you could have had four or five art exhibits during that time. And actually learned more. You know? Four or five non-perfect art exhibits and learn much more. You could probably have 10 art exhibits or, or done 10 other things that had more productivity towards your art career and the art exhibit and this and that and then stack them, you know, but we're not, we're not conditioned to think this way. And this is why anytime you jump into a program where you want to learn how to be a professional artist or, or monetize or whatever, you will, if the program is, is run by serious people, um, anyone that's actually, you know, most, most, most serious people charge a pretty penny. It's not like a $30 ebook, uh, you know, to teach you how to do something very high end, you know, like, uh, how to get art exhibits and, and, I don't know, using Facebook ads or something, something that requires more skill, more, more strategy. Uh, most of those things are, you know, a few thousand dollars. At least it's going to cost you at least a thousand bucks to get into something like that. And when you get in there, they tell you right off the bat, you know, they tell you this is going to be difficult because we, for many reasons. But one of, them, one of the main reasons is because we're conditioned to not do things. We're conditioned to think about things, but not do them. This is uh, almost like the the it's like the, the 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 challenge that just about every human being has. You know, the biggest the biggest challenge I believe that just about every human being has um, when living life is that we're conditioned to think about things and not do them. There's more thinking than doing, and that prevents everything from happening. You know, it, it stops you right in your tracks. It doesn't allow you to move to the next, to the next phase and the next phase. See, because here, here, here's what I mean by thinking rather than doing. You need to do a painting, right? But you're thinking about what it's supposed to look like and how it's supposed to be perceived and what will people think or what will you think or does it look like you want it to look like or, you know, and on and on and on. So you're no longer doing a painting. You're doing a painting and you're trying to meet certain criteria, right? And it's, it's perfectionism. It's, you're trying to meet certain criteria. It has to meet certain criteria. So by the time that you're supposed to do a painting, you probably sweat bullets for, I don't know, a week. And probably in a week you could have done 10 paintings. I don't know, depending on how, how quick you work. But see, part of the reason why we don't work quick is because we don't do things. It's not because we are fast or, 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 or slow. 
It's not nothing to do with that. That's why Andy Warhol said, whether you go fast or you go slow, if you just go, you will get there. Something like that. He said something along those lines. You know, if you just keep going, you will get there. He was talking about your art career. He understood that because he was going through that as well. So it's not about speed, although it would help you, but it's really about speed of decision. It's really what matters the most. It's the speed of decision that is the most important thing. And it's the most neglected one. For example, if you have 10 things to do this week, you want to change your life, you want something to, you want, you want your life to look different. If you're an artist, uh, maybe you're not an artist, you're watching this, try it in, in another industry, it's the same thing. If you want to change your life, if you've got 10 things to do this week, do them in one day. If you've got 10 things to do this week, if you have to do this, 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 and that in a week, try to do it in one day. Watch your life, watch your money rise, watch everything change. Because you, you're, you're, you're sucking the marrow out of life. It, it, the, the thing that's killing us, guys, it's the fucking procrastination. That's the thing that's killing all of us. It kills your dreams. It kills your movement. There's so much procrastination happening. It, and you can't even see it. It's like a phantom. You can't touch it. You're like this. You're going around like this. It's, it's like a phantom. Because we're so conditioned to doing things in a wait, 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 wait. Who, who, who told us that growing up? Wait, not now, later. Uh, wait, wait. Parents. It's not their fault. Their parents did the same thing to them. So, so people grow up waiting. When you're, when you're a child, you never want to wait. Because... That is the natural way of being, of a human being. You think of something, you're like, oh, okay, food. I got to go get food, right? Draw, I want to draw. I got to go draw, right? It's a very pure way of being. It's a, uh, it is actually the right way of being. It's the perfect way of being. It's, uh, it, it's, it's, it's nature intended it that way, right? And there comes a point where we get socialized and, and we're taught to wait and we're taught to think so much that we just sit there and we do that and we do nothing. So, so how do you move from thinking to doing? You know, there is no easy way. You just, you have to start acting like like there's fire under your butt. There is no easy way. These, these are the only things that I've noticed that change my outcomes. It, change my, it changes my, my mood, my personal, my mental mood. It changes my emotional state. It changes my income. The moment that I wait, that I'm thinking, that I, my income goes down. The moment that I'm like, I don't care, I'm just going to do something, my income starts, starts rising, 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 rising. It changes my uh, opportunities. The moment that I'm like waiting, opportunities go away. The moment that I... See, the whole thing is true. When you pray, move your feet, right? God helps those who help themselves. Be bold and mighty forces will come to your aid. Look at all these sayings, you know? Ask and you shall receive. Like, go get it. Go do something. Go do something. And, and then when you finish that, go do something else. And, and I think that the whole point of living, of living in, in, in this earth, is to express. And many of us don't know how to do that. Many of us just keep it here. We don't express. And expression for me, is physical it doesn't make any other sense and i'm talking about physical i'm talking about not just your body but your voice maybe maybe you write maybe you paint i don't know maybe you work in some idea 
or a movie, whatever. It doesn't matter. The whole point of life is expression. It's, it has to go out. It's expression. It doesn't matter what it is, but it has to. That's why, that's why it's called existence. Existence from the word to exit. It's exit. It's out. And if you just go through life keeping everything here, you're not living. No one is living that lives here. This is, this is the coward's house. Only cowards live here. And many of us are conditioned to stay here. Maybe you have an idea of writing a book. It, no one's going to read it here. Maybe you have an idea of, of painting a collection of artwork. No one's going to see it here. Oh, let me tell you about it. Like, no, like, paint it. You know? Exhibit it. I don't know how. Blah, 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 blah. Of course. This, it, the problem is that we think we're all fucking Einstein. That's the problem. Like, this is a, is a tool that aids us, but it's not going to get the job done. This will get the job done. This will get the job done. This, the heart, that's what gets the job done. It's, it's, it's exterior, exterior. And I've noticed that, that artists, we don't really know how to do that. We spend so much time here. See, in any other profession, for the most part, or any other job, you don't get paid for trying. You don't get paid for thinking. Although some people think that they get paid for thinking, but sooner or later, they will find out that nobody gets paid for thinking. Really, you get paid for producing. Production is where you get paid. You stand in, in, a, in, in, in a line, right? And you decorate cakes. You wash dishes. No one is paying you to wash dishes. That's not what the boss is thinking. The boss is not thinking, oh, I got to pay someone to wash dishes. No one's paying that. The boss or the owner is thinking, oh, my God, okay, we need to wash, you know, I don't know, uh, 30, I don't know, 30 plates. Because 30 plates that need to get washed will produce me X amount of income. We need to wash, I don't know, 100 glasses in a bar, right? Because... Each glass represents, I don't know, a $4 drink or a $10 drink. And every time that glass gets washed, gets put back, it's producing me income, right? So you're not getting paid for washing a glass. You're, you're, you're not getting paid for washing a glass. You're getting paid for producing a clean glass. You see what the difference is? No one gets paid for the actual job. That they're doing. I don't get paid for, for painting. I don't get paid for, for... I'm a painter, right? I don't get paid for painting. I get paid for producing a new fucking painting. I get paid for producing a new painting. I produce a new painting. I put it into the market. I sell the painting. Then I get paid. But I can't get paid for having a painting here. Or having it in my studio either. The moment they get paid is when someone takes it home. If someone takes it home, boom, I get paid. No one takes it home, I don't get paid. Sí, sí, hablo español. <laughs> sí, hablamos castellano también aquí. So, so what do we do? What do we do? We need to start moving. We start moving. There needs to be a point where we start moving. And it's not easy. It's not easy to start moving, but we have to start moving. Because otherwise, nothing's going to happen. It's just going to feel like a Groundhog Day. You know that movie, Groundhog Day? You wake, the guy wakes up and the same thing occurs again and the same thing occurs again. Why? Because he's not living life. It's only when he starts living life, when he starts actually accepting the fact that life is challenging and that he has to be part of life, that he can get out of the groundhog day, right? He can get out of the, the spin wheel. And 
And being an artist, I've learned that if you spend your time thinking about what you're going to do, you're not going to be a very good artist. If you spend your time thinking about the things that you need to do, you're not going to be a very good artist. If you, st if you spend your time thinking about where you're going to show your work, you are not going to be a good artist. It's not going to work that way. You need to move out from thinking into doing. And you need to stop procrastinating and stop trying to do things perfectly. One of my mentors says, imperfect action made me wealthy. Imperfect action is the path to success. You, got, you have to learn how to take imperfect action. Why? Because it's the type of action that doesn't wait. It's the type of action that doesn't, oh, here, let me figure this out. Fuck figuring things out. Just go do it. Just, oh my God, what am I going to paint? I don't know. Paint whatever, flowers, donkey asses. It doesn't matter. It's all the same. Just paint something. And then take it to the marketplace. This is what Andy Warhol taught us. He knew, he knew this. Because he was so involved in the marketplace. He understood this. He said, paint. Create artwork. Don't worry about what they say about it. Or what you say about it. Just create it. And while they are saying something about it, right? Go and create some more. Look at, look at, look at, look at the advice Andy Warhol gave us. The advice was, don't stop creating artwork, regardless of how you feel about it, or they feel about it. Vincent van Gogh said the same thing. Don't listen to your head. Keep producing artwork. Picasso said the same thing. When I don't have blue, I use red, I think. The other way around. Yeah, when I don't have blue, I use red. What does that mean? He's not waiting for things to be right. Every time you wait for things to be right, you will do nothing. You will contract. You will go back. You will retreat. And retreating is for what? Retreating? Think of retreating in a war. It's for the loser. Retreating is for the, you know... It's probably better to surrender than to retreat. Because at least if you surrender, you know your place. But retreating is not a winning it's not a winning formula. So if you have an idea of getting your artwork into a gallery, stop thinking about it. Stop like like I know so many artists who are like, oh yeah, I have a list of the galleries I'm gonna go to and I'm gonna talk to them. And uh, well this one this one, I like it because of this. Let me tell you about it. And I'm like, dude, don't tell me about it. I don't want to hear that. I spent the first, I don't know, 15 years of my, my art career doing the same shit. Like thinking about it. Like procrastinating. I had, I had lists and lists of things that I needed to do and how I was going to do them. And how I was going to get them done. And, and, oh, and oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm going to, and I'm going to, Put some artwork here, but when that sells there, then I can go put some over here, and it's it's never gonna work that way. It's a failing formula. I know, I know because it happened to me. It's a failing formula. The winning formula is to act as a child, to break break a bunch of shit. You know, like do things wrong. Be imperfect. Allow yourself to be imperfect. Don't worry about criticism. Don't worry about your, especially your personal criticism is the worst one. Now, if we think that other people's criticism is bad. Good. Just listen to how you talk to yourself. Just listen to how you talk to yourself.
I'm not good enough. I don't know if people want to buy my artwork. I don't know if they'll accept my artwork. Just listen to how you talk to yourself. It's the personal criticism, the one that stops you. It's not, it's not other people's criticism. We always say, oh, people are so mean and this and that, but no one's meaner. No one is meaner than ourselves to ourselves. So how do you change that? How do you break the back? How do you change that? The way that you change that is by just doing, doing, like, not, nothing will make it work, but doing. Doing it wrong. How do I do it? I don't know. Just do it. Get it done. Yeah, but, but how? Where do I start? I don't know. Start anywhere. See, the thing is that we, we, we are afraid of doing things wrong. We're afraid of starting things wrong. We're afraid of our inability to take action. It's so ingrained in us that it stops us from achieving anything. We achieve only enough to get by. We achieve only enough to... to we, we, we don't achieve levels of success that other people can benefit from. Think about how many people benefit from Monet's success. How many of us look at Monet and, and actually be inspired by Monet? How many uh, industries right, are helped because of Monet? How many people reprinted the work? How many, how many museums? How many auction houses? How many, how much does one, one, one successful person help the entire world? Just think about it like that. How many times do you see Monet print, Monet prints sold on Amazon, on every art store, every crate and barrel or whatever, every brick and mortar store? Think about how much, how much one single artist impacts, one single artist that, that became successful impacts the world. It's amazing. To me, it's amazing. How many foundations are open because of the, 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 t the taxes of that? How many... Uh, Nonprofits have helped, and, and, and how many countries help themselves? How many people have jobs because of that? It's to me, it's amazing how one person, you know, because it takes heart. It's the only thing that it takes. Think about Picasso. Think about any 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 of the great artists. How many people benefit from that? From one single bold person. These weren't geniuses. We think of them as geniuses. They weren't geniuses. Picasso was no fucking genius. He's an average man. With lots of balls. That's what made him different than everyone else. Georgia O'Keeffe, an average woman. With lots of balls too. That's what makes the difference. Think of any artist. That's what makes the difference. And they, they stop thinking about what they're going to do, and they do it. Georgia O'Keeffe said to us in, in, in quotes that we have, you know, we have recordings of her quotes, where she said, every time I was going to do something new, I was terrified, and I still did it. So when we think about doing something, when we think about, about going out into the marketplace, creating artwork, we know what to do. It's not like we don't know what to do. A lot of people out there tell us that we don't know what to do, but that's not true. They're, they lie, they're lying to us. Uh, certainly there's strategies and techniques and things like that that can help you. but. But it's not like we don't know what to do. We know what to do. See, the first step hides the key to the second step. 
Can, is there something right now that you can do? I promise you that once you do that, the next step will be revealed. And once you do that, the next step will be revealed. You don't need to know the whole pattern of steps. We get suckered into believing that by marketers and other people. You don't, you don't need to know the whole pattern. You know, this is not a curriculum. This is not college. This is not... Life is not college. It's certainly not college. <laughs> Life is much more serious than that. And it's much more simpler than that. You, you don't have to know... You don't have to have a program of what's next. Any given step that you take will lead you to the next one. That is the, the, the most important step you can take is the one you're taking right now. What am I gonna do today? I'm gonna make, I, I don't know, what do I do, what do I do? I gotta do this, I gotta do that. No, 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 no. No. What is the one thing you can do? I know you have to do a thousand things. We all know that. You're not the only one in the world that has to do a thousand things. Everybody does. Everybody has family, children, this, 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 blah, 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 blah. Yes. What is the one thing you can do right now to advance your career? Well, I don't know. I I should be... Uh, what's the one thing that comes to your mind? Make a painting? Okay, good. Make a painting. Go do that. What's the next thing? Well, the moment that you start thinking about it, that you're like, oh, uh, that's not the next step. It has to, the next step is, is takes milliseconds to recognize. Oh, go to, go to a gallery. Yeah, go to a gallery. Uh, put something online. Okay. Open a store. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Talk to Jose. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you need to talk to me. I don't know. Meet another artist. Meet another artist. Whatever. It doesn't matter. None of them are perfect. They're only keeping you... They're keeping you open. 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 Because every time you open a new door, you see the, the next one, and the next one, and the next one. That's what this whole thing is about. Every door you open leads you to the next one. That's why there's no wrong or right way of doing it. Everybody gets stuck in this. Well, what's the next thing? There ain't no next thing. Do something. And then, and then that opens the next one. There, there, there is no pattern to it. There is no pattern to it. People act as if there is a pattern to it. And there's, again, there's strategies, there's, there's all these things, but they're, they're not as important as doing what you have to do right now. And when you finish that, nothing is as important as doing what you have to do after you finish that. Like, you don't have to plan it out. You don't have to plan it out. You just have to set your intention. Like, what do you want? Okay, well, I want to make a... Uh, I want to make an income as an artist, right? Let's say that you want that. Okay, you want to make some income as an artist? Cool, all right. Then, then that's all you have to do. Well, how do I do that? Well, what's the, what's the first step? Well, I, got, I need some art. Okay, well, create some art. Well, what's the next step? I need to sell it. Okay, well, go and sell it. But where? Oh, fuck, man. You know, that's already, that's already a, a lost step right there. Where do I sell it? I don't know. Like, pick up the phone and call people that you know and tell them that you want to show them the artwork you're doing. Take a photo of it. Put it online. Put it on Facebook. Put it on Instagram. Tell people. Like, are there smart ways of doing it? A very, very fast pace of doing it? Sure, I'm sure there are. I know a couple of ways. But I promise you that nothing beats just doing things. 
you can have all the knowledge of doing things, but nothing beats just doing things, even if they're quote unquote the wrong things to do. Nothing beats that. I'd rather, I'd rather know if I had a choice between knowing everything and knowing everything that needs to be known about marketing or whatever, and knowing nothing, but but having a lot of heart to doing things. I listen to me one million times I would choose just doing things I don't want to be the knower anymore I play that card just do things just do it someone's gonna help you along the way someone's gonna be like oh they're gonna nudge you in the right direction like it's just going to start making sense the problem is that we're like oh man I don't want to make a I want to make mistakes so I'll just I'll play from back here and you're never gonna play the game from back there you know, it's, it's not going to work. So. Just got to start doing it. Whatever that is. Exhibit something. And then what's the next, what's the next step? Uh, I don't know. Call people. Let people know that you're exhibiting something somewhere. Make a fire. Like, there is no wrong way of doing things. There's a lot of people out there that are telling us, oh, you're doing things wrong. No. You know what you're doing? You're not doing enough. Like, listen, you're not doing enough. That's really the problem. You're not doing things wrong. Nothing that you're doing is wrong. If you're an artist and you're having a hard time, you're having a hard time, you're not doing anything wrong. I promise you that you're not doing anything wrong. If you are an artist and you're not selling your work and you're having a hard time, I I promise you you're not doing anything wrong. You're just not doing enough of the wrong things. That is really the problem. I know it's a hard shoe to swallow. Because we already feel like we're busy, but we have so much things on our plate. But I promise you that that is the problem. And these are hard conversations to have. These are this is hard to accept. I was talking to a buddy of mine because I was like, dude, I gotta lose some weight, man. I gotta get I gotta get fit. This buddy of mine, uh, uh, he he does Ironmans and all of those. Uh, uh, kick ass, you know. He's he, he's got like the body of an athlete and shit, you know. And he's always training. And I told him, dude, I gotta get, you know, I gotta get, I gotta get buff, you know. And he said, he said, all right, we'll do it. I was like, well, yeah, but you know, where do I start? Blah blah. blah. You know, I, I start doing the same thing that that I hear artists tell me about artwork. And he's like, dude, don't like, but you're not. There is no wrong or right way for you right now, dude. It's just go fucking run. That's what he told me. Like, go walk. Like, well, I know, but is there like a special diet? Like, he's like, dude, pick one. Like, there is no special diet. Like, like, you know. I was like, yeah, fruits, veggies, and protein. He's like, bingo. Like, fuck. Like, dude, you know already. I was He's like, you're, you're, you're really asking me because you don't want to do it. And that's when I started realizing, oh, shit, I, I have the same thing happen with artists. You know? It, because, because we think we're already, we're already too busy. I'm like, do I, do, I, do I go and go for a run for like 20 minutes? And he's like, dude, that would change your life if you just went for a run every day for 20 minutes. You know? Like, like you already know what to do. There is no wrong or right way of doing things. You're just not doing enough. And it's the same thing with artwork. This is what I'm telling you guys with the, with your art sales or your art business. It's the same thing. The, where do I exhibit? It doesn't matter where. Just exhibit. It'll start. It'll start weaving itself by itself. Really, it will not need much of your attention. Much of your ideas is what I'm saying. It'll start weaving itself. You'll show here. Someone will see it. 
And they'll say, oh, oh my God, you know, I know a friend who has a gallery. And then you show there. And then that person's like, oh, it's really cool, blah, blah, blah. You know, you should be part of this online thing. And then you're there. The, 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 the busiest person is always the one that wins the most. Do not do not believe people when they tell you, oh, no, the person that does less, but it's more, more, more uh, uh, intelligent. I don't know, maybe I'm too stupid. I'm running a... a, a Multi, multiple six-figure business in my artwork right now. Not seven figures yet, but I'm getting close. Uh, running my art business a year. And I am always fucking busy. I am never like, oh my God. Every time I'm like, oh my God, what am I going to do? Oh yeah, I'm going to do something really smart where I can just push play and let it run. Every time that I think that I'm seduced to that, Every time that I'm seduced to that idea, my income goes lower. And then I start like procrastinating. Because it, it, it doesn't work that way, guys. People are seduced to thinking that. We're seduced to thinking that if I do less and I'm more intelligent, it's going to work. I know artists um, who are seduced by that. And they spend all their time trying to be clever. Oh, if I go viral, sorry, is the out of focus. If I go viral, you know, if people just start sharing my work online, all I have to do really, if I, if I sell prints, then I don't have to really sell so many originals. If I sell at higher price points, then I don't have to paint so many. It, it's all of this, it's a, it's a bunch of bullshit, it's what it is. Looking for an easy way out. I, I promise you. It's not. It's not. Doing less. I know there's a lot of people out there saying. If you do less. If you do less. If you do less. Maybe for high end businesses. I don't know. Maybe they get to a point where they do less. I don't know. A point of doing less. I'm actually hiring people. As of now. I'm opening a new studio and I'm actually hiring people right now because there is no doing less. It doesn't work like that. It's me doing as much as I can and then start getting people to help me do as much as I can pay them to do. You know, and start doing that and start multiplying that. It's, it, where do I exhibit? Where do I show my work? Facebook? Pinterest? No. You know you know how fucking bad I feel that I don't show my stuff on Pinterest? Like, like, be everywhere. Show on Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram. Like, be everywhere. Every day I'm like, oh my God, I gotta get on Pinterest. You know? Every day I'm, I'm, I, I'm like, okay, well, okay, but I'm gonna do a video right now. Yeah, but I need some time to do a Pinterest. And I do need to do this. And I need to do that. It, 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 because they all work. Because someone's gonna buy something on Instagram. That's 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 for sure. Someone's gonna be like, "Oh man, I love I love you know what you're saying. I love what you're doing. I love your artwork." And then they go and click on my link, and then they go and, and buy something. Not everybody, of course not. I can't rely on Pinterest, but someone buys something on Pinterest. Someone contacts me on Facebook. Someone contacts me on Twitter. Someone wants a, a commission from uh, I don't know Etsy. They see my work on Etsy, and they'll ask for a commission. Someone buys an auction on eBay. You know, I do a local show. I have artwork hanging around in, in uh, downtown area, in the high-rise buildings here. Someone sees that, and then and then that happens once a month, sometimes twice. You know, I have the higher the higher price points there, the bigger the bigger paintings. Someone sees that and they're like, "Oh man, I want to buy that." Yeah. So it's not relying on one thing, you know, it's, it's multiple things. And then I'll send out some, some email, someone buys something from there, you know, and then I'm having breakfast somewhere or I'm having dinner somewhere uh, where I live. I live in downtown uh, Tucson. I go to a restaurant here, I, I have dinner and I talk to someone and I tell them what I do every single time I'm talking to someone. I go, oh, yeah, what do you do? Oh, I'm, I'm an artist, blah, blah, here's my card, blah, 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 blah. Why? Because I'm always looking for that. I need to be doing something because I, I've learned 
that there is no one thing that makes it work. It's all of them. That's why when people ask me, well, what do I do? Uh, shit, I don't know. Like, do everything you can as fast as you can and do it all and keep it running. And watch it start working. People that say, oh man, Instagram is the way. Like, like Facebook is not the way. Facebook doesn't work. I'm like, dude, you're stupid, dude. Like, Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest and, and everything else. Like, why would you not do the other one? You know, or why wouldn't you, if you get income, why wouldn't you pay someone to do one of those? And go hard on all of them. Anyways, I've extended this talk way too long. But I just wanted to uh, share that with you guys. All right. Hope, hope that you guys get started. And don't procrastinate. And don't mentalize so much. Get to work. All right. Have a good morning, guys. Have a productive day. I will talk to you guys soon. My name is Jose Trujillo. And I am the world's greatest living artist. By the way, I'm still doing uh, coaching sessions. I don't think I'm stopping. Let's they're, 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 they're pretty fun. Uh, if you guys want any coaching from moi, okay? I do 30 minutes in one hour. Uh, DM me. DM me. And also, if you haven't gotten the Craigslist uh, guide, DM me for that. I'll, I'll show you uh, how I did uh, 525 bucks in one day. In a... Uh, when I started, that's how I started. Because again, you know, there's no right way. Just, just get started somewhere. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll email you. I'll, I'll send you the link on how to get that. If you're interested in that. All right. Take care, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.